In this new series, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the transfer from Tinkercad to Blender. Blender is a free, extremely powerful open source 3D CAD modeling and animation tool, but it can seem very daunting making the switch. So I'll be leading you through the steps and showing you how the tools in Tinkercad essentially crop up in Blender. So let's get right into it. So here we have Tinkercad. This is a very familiar interface, especially to those of you who have watched my videos before, um, mostly creating car models. Um, and Blender, as you can see here, is obviously a lot more complicated and there's a lot of menus. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to blender.org slash download um, and it should already pick up your platform. So for example, I'm running Apple Silicon and you'll just want to hit the download button. It's about 300 megabytes, so um, it'll depend on how fast your internet speed is. So in Tinkercad, you obviously will right click and drag both on trackpad and mouse. Zooming in and out involves using the scroll wheel or pinching on the trackpad and um, shifting the view, essentially doing this, involves holding down right click and dragging or holding down the middle mouse button and dragging. Both of those work. In Blender, it's a very similar system, except the main difference is moving the view, uh, as in rotating around. Um, on a trackpad, you're gonna want to use two fingers and move that around, but don't click. And on a mouse, you're going to want to use the scroll wheel, holding down the scroll wheel, and moving the mouse around to change the view. So that's gonna be the key difference. And then panning is going to be covered by um, either holding this down or by holding shift and doing the same thing by holding down your middle mouse wheel. As for looking at things from the side, um, you can use this thing up here, which is very similar to the cube that is available in Tinkercad. And you can press the sides the same way that you do it in Tinkercad. The only difference is that this uses orthographic view as default. Orthographic view is essentially looking at something completely side on, so no perspective. And if you do use this feature in Tinkercad here, you will notice that they have something very similar. And this is very good for precision, especially if you're joining objects or trying to place them flat on top of one another.